What's up and welcome back to the channel. This week, I just wanted to go over all of the best and worst moments of 2021. And I have Crystal along. She's not physically here, but she's here through technology. The technologies and in living in your heart. Exactly, she's, she's in here just the same with all of you guys. <laughs> and I just wanted to go over all of these clips with her and you guys and let me know in the comments down below what your guys' favorite moment was from 2021 because we did a lot of stuff and we're gonna do our best to cover it very quickly because we have a lot to go over. So let's go to the first clip right now, which is one of my favorite moments of all of 2021 when I got to jump a Red Bull high dive platform being one of the first non-Red Bull professional athletes to jump a Red Bull tower as like a self-taught freestyle cliff diver, which was just a huge moment for me. So let's go to the clip. It looks so tiny. You're yeah, like I, a little pee. I, I was extremely nervous, but at the same time, like not that nervous, if that makes any sense. And it was, it, it, I was so nervous for this the whole week leading up to it. And then as soon as I was up there getting ready to go, I don't know, it was like the best feeling in the world for me. Remember what you told me you peed a little on your way down? I did not say that. All right, moving on. Sticking with the cliff jumping theme, uh, this is a super top secret spot that still has to remain a secret. I can't give out the location, but it has a ridiculous natural infinity pool that I had Crystal swimming up to the edge of, and it's just this gigantic waterfall. It's unbelievable. Let's check it out. So that's Crystal with the... There, there I am. Yeah, right on the this edge of like a... Pretty gnarly hike after we both had just had COVID. I was dying. Yeah, we um we both had COVID, had no stamina, and that was a very well, rough it was, hike. It was post COVID, Brandon. Oh yeah, like, we didn't have COVID. It was post COVID when you know we didn't do anything for 14 days, so we were not in our best hiking shape. But that one, it, that one's an honorable mention. I had to throw it in there because it's uh, an amazing location, and I was very glad we got to go there numerous times. Now this next clip, also sticking on the cliff jumping theme, I had a friend of mine, Ryan Robinson, set up a ridiculous high line so basically if you know what slack lining is it was ridiculous he he set it up over top of a waterfall as we were jumping from the waterfall so let's let's show you his perspective so he's like 75 feet up right now the cool part about watching them set this up was they used drones to actually set up the high line which i had never seen before yeah that it was wild. I always wondered how they set up lines like that across waterfalls and they literally take like a fishing line and tie it to a drone and fly the drone to the other side and then pull over bigger rope after bigger rope and then, you know, it's all set up. But this was also one of the very first larger cliff jumps for me after uh, recovering from my broken ankle. And it, it was a very, very happy moment for me. And this was just such a unique experience to have really tall high lining and cliff jumping at the same time. But let's move on. Let's just keep, let's roll through these quickly because we got a lot. Next one is Cliff Cruise 2021. We had well over a hundred, possibly 200 people come out for a cliff diving event all over the state of Colorado. And this is just a quick clip from some of the ridiculous carnage that was happening uh, during our death diving competition or a suicide dive competition. Basically where you aim for a belly flop and then you close up last second and land safely, kind of. If you, if you know what you're doing, it's safe. If you don't, it could be very bad. regardless if there was a camera on them or not like we were so stoked for anyone yeah. <laughs> like that was the best part of the whole trip that right there. that was one of the highest level events for cliff jumping i've ever been a part of it was so crazy to be there and i wasn't even jumping in that competition it was just so crazy to watch what these people were doing and it was just unbelievable again just one of the one of the greatest parts of all of 2021 in my opinion 
All right, completely switching gears over now to Costa Rica, where our friend Maddie hooked us up with a company that owns this ridiculous giant villa type thing. And uh, basically we worked out a brand deal with them in exchange for a bunch of promotion, but we had a ton of friends go down and they gave us this place. And this is one of the views from uh, the infinity pool. What a gentleman. I think that's, that's me. If there's anything you should know about Brandon Gross is he's pure gentleman, let me tell you. That's right. Look at this place. Like the views and everything were unbelievable. And then needless to say, it didn't take more than two days for us to get kicked out of the place because of this right here. They had another level right above the pool, which was just for a bunch of cliff divers was asking to be jumped. And Chase Reinford jumped it, so. He threw yeah. it. Yeah, he he threw a, an ass blaster, is what we call it, off of the top floor. Chase's posted it on social media, and then the owners of the villa saw it and they kicked us out that night. Understandably, like, and we had nowhere to go. And then Maddie to the rescue found us another hotel to go stay at. That was kind of rough when we found out. Right then and there, we had to get kicked out. Like we we had we had to move hotels immediately. Still in Costa Rica, we went to a waterfall and got to go jump some waterfalls. This is the last day in Costa Rica for us. That was uh, just a little glimpse of the recklessness we had off of this 75 foot waterfall. Wild time. Moving on, cliff jumping can't be all fun and games. There's a lot of risk involved in it. And last year I had my worst flop of all time. Let's watch it. Yeah, that was, uh, that one was pretty bad as you could see from uh, the clip right there. That one was almost a year ago at this point and I went and got my chest x-rayed because I thought I broke my sternum. They said they didn't find any fractures or anything, but I still literally feel it when I work out at the gym. I feel pains in my sternum from that jump. So cliff jumping is no joke. You gotta be very careful with it. I made it a long time, 31 years of my life without having a very bad uh, cliff jumping accident and this was my worst one. You finally gave away your age. I'm old. All right. Then afterwards, we got to go check out this beautiful waterfall while my chest was broken all day. And we got to see some of my friends jump one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the entire Pacific Northwest. The PNW is just such a paradise. It's so majestic. We at least got to end my terrible flop day with some good vibes. Back to terrible, terrible vibes. Maybe the worst vibes of all of 2021. When we Listen, went- <laughs> let's not bring up the bad vibes of 2021. When okay? we this went, like... we went to Mexico and a valet driver decided to smash Crystal's Jeep full speed backwards into a wall and blame it on us and offer us $300 to fix her almost total Jeep. Put some clips together so you can kind of see how bad the Jeep was. Look at the back of my now smashed vehicle. I was sweating. Yeah, to put it in perspective, it cost the most 10 grand to actually get it fixed. It was a pretty big nightmare. I didn't have my car from April to July 2nd. Two huge hands of glass everywhere. You had to call the police. The police showed up around, hit behind him, and got this little clip. So this is actually what happened. You can see the guy just, he's in the car, puts it in reverse, and just quickly slams it into the wall. Floors it. Mm. Over you know, and over. Watching this, it's funny to reflect on that, but like there was three to four months of my life I didn't have a car. That, like, that kind of sucked. Literally the hotel 
didn't want to take any responsibility for it. Yeah, so that was the worst vibes, I think, for us. It, well, I mean, for her mostly, but I was, I was there sharing the anger and a little bit of the pain. The whole reason we went down there was to enjoy these ridiculous water slides that are way too dangerous for the United States. Check some of them out. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was, it looked like a kitty slide. It didn't look intense. There's such an incline. There's such a degree at which these things are built. Yeah, it looks like a kitty slide and then you hit it and just immediately catch air. You're like flying. You want to fly? Go to that water park. Yeah, you smash your, smash your tailbone down. So you got to be nice and healthy and ready to take a, a good hit on that slide. Moving forward, because like I said, we have a, a lot, blah, blah, we have a lot to cover. And let's go to one of my very first videos of 2021, where I got to take my mom for a ride in my I-8. <laughs> She's laughing at the trunk space. No, but first. No. Oh my God. <laughs> stop. No, stop. You don't even have a bar. <laughs> don't even have a bar. <laughs> this is where you get pulled over all the time. Stop! <laughs> but we had gone, we had driven like several states looking at for IEs for him. Oh my god, no. It was such a journey. No. Oh yeah. That's enough, that's enough! Don't hit me! <laughs> so, that was... <laughs> That was me taking my mom out to uh, return her computer at Best Buy. Um, Scare your poor mother. Yeah, and then and then just real quick, it goes from good vibes to bad vibes with the I-8. I was driving the I-8 across the country from Pennsylvania out to Crystal's house in California, and I got COVID, I think like 14 hours into my drive. So, so here's a quick clip of me when I found out I had COVID halfway across the country where I didn't know anybody. into my journey across the country and found out I got COVID. Great timing. I was definitely ill the last two nights, so I've just been staying in a hotel room in Oklahoma. I felt so bad like you had no one to take care of you or like bring you food or medicine or yeah it was terrible but I, I called the hotel before i went there and let them know and they were like dude we don't care about covid they basically like didn't even believe in covid out there and i was like well you know, that's great i still disinfected everything and lived my life out but then eventually once that all passed i made it out to crystal's house and i had a wonderful greeting from pepita 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 hi i know <laughs> And Crystal was literally still in bed, like sick, so. She literally called, there, there was Uber Eats, like Postmates, none of that existed because I was so far in the middle of nowhere. So Crystal called a regular Uber in the city that I was nearest to, which was like 45 minutes away and convinced them to become a Postmates person and basically <laughs> did it all off the books and they drove 45 minutes to me. I know, I was like, I will Venmo you personally. It was- If you can run some errands and oh leave God. it at the door. It was, the, I, I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even pick up my phone to text anybody. It was terrible, but Crystal saved the day and then Peter saved the day with the warm welcome. Switching gears all around to caving because that's what we spent most of our time doing in 2021. It's what we, we filmed did most of the videos so doing. much caving last year. Yes, and our very first, so much. very, very first video of caving in 2021 was the spider's cave. Whoa. Oh, yes. oh my God. Brandon. Look at those <gasps> oh, There's so many of them. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Which, looking back, now we know those are cave crickets. Most of them were cave crickets, but in this, there were a lot yeah. of crazy spiders that we still don't know what they were. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, we didn't know what we were doing when we started off caving. We didn't have gear. We didn't know what to expect. We've come a long way. Yes. And we had to, like, learn everything pretty much by ourselves. Look at this one. Holy shit, that is a monster. We're in a cave with hundreds and hundreds of spiders. 
Oh, you were the last five Yeah. Like this was rough. You in a small, dark hole with thousands of spiders, how much would you have to get paid? Oh my god. And our answer is for free. Those ones are not cave crickets. I don't know what they are. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> complete opposite end of the country like literally from corner to corner to our next video where we went into some sea caves where they used to smuggle rum and we took candles down and lit up the hallway here we go and it looks so crazy very pirates of the caribbean here absolutely we had to like make sure to go at low tide to actually make it here Wow, this is so aesthetically pleasing. I forgot about this video. You were walking down these halls back in the day. The water's starting to get really high, so uh, Our alarm went off. we uh, we set an alarm <laughs> and we looked. The water's getting way too high, so we need to get out of here, or else we're going to be swimming out of here through some waves, which is very dangerous. Um, yeah, we got to go. It's like a combination of the Goonies and meets Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, moving on next to the waterfall cave. Oh, this one! It's down south. This is amazing under here. Look at this! This is unbelievable. Yeah, that was a really interesting cave, because like, they were doing... You could tell that like, some kind of construction had gone on down there. And at the time, we didn't know what that was about. So it was like really fascinating to see all of that. Yeah, and, and look how high the ceiling was. That place was nuts. But uh, we're just gonna keep on moving forward. That one was crazy. Also, a link to all of these videos, the original videos will be in the description. So if you wanna check out the full videos, they're down there. But for right now, we're going over them quick. Moving on to some cave twerking by Crystal. This was in down south again, and we were in one of the, uh, the largest dome caves. <laughs> And I was taking advantage of the beautiful lighting and my shadow on, on the cave uh, wall there. As you can see, very obviously I was trying to look like a spider. I and did not think that's what you were doing. <laughs> oh man. But then moving right on from the twerking cave, which had almost one of the biggest rooms of a cave in the United States, moving on to the longest cave in the entire world that we got to go to in our first year of caving, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, this was so gnarly. There's a connecting point that's like 90 plus miles into Mammoth Cave and we were able to go through that entrance. This was a this crazy, so crazy cave. Like, there were everything. ladders, there were squeeze points. Rivers, eyeless albino fish, <laughs> albino crayfish, crawfish. Yeah, I almost slipped off the ladder. Um, that video has got way too much to show, so if you guys are interested in that, it, it's just to us, it was a big deal because it's literally the biggest cave in the world. So that's why it made our list yeah. for 2021. All right, moving on, I gotta give Crystal a lot of credit for this one because she found it literally while we were driving down the highway. She was in her Jeep in front of me, I was following in my bus. She's like, hey, did you see that sign that said blah, blah, blah? And then we started researching it and then we found out this guy literally spent 38 years of his life digging a tunnel to basically nowhere. He just was digging for it. 38 years by himself. Ready to venture inside of William's cave? <laughs> oh my gosh. I loved this. I loved this. Yeah, the bird we just like, lands on our head and hangs out. We were talking about the story of William Burrow Schmidt and this bird like led us through the tunnel. It's almost, we were saying like, oh, it's him reincarnated. Like, I forgot this part, like how, it shows how long the tunnel really is. Like, and he dug this by hand. Like. <sighs> so it comes out through the other side of the mountain. It's just so crazy to me. Like he dug that by hand for 38 years, finally made it, and then, uh, then what? I, I don't know. It's such a weird story, but very, very great find on the side of the highway. All right, moving on. We are going into the Midwest for this one. Crystal was unfortunately not here. I cave cheated on her for this one. There was uh, some ridiculous graffiti in this cave, or at least to the entrance of it. All right, let me just show you. See this like checkered one? <laughs> Holy <laughs> Like, 
I was saying in the video that I feel like they could charge admission to go into this tunnel because how crazy the artwork is, it's unbelievable. So this isn't really a cave, this is like a man-made tunnel. There's just difference, well, right? Or is it a cave? Now we're in the cave. Um, th oh, that was I in, so that was in a, a man-made tunnel and that was like a back entrance to sneakily get inside. I um, see, I see. This shows, this is the real cave here, which is enormous. And the crazy thing is it used to be used for an underground haunted house. And right there you can see remnants of the haunted house, but some kids went in and burnt everything down a while ago. And now this is all that's left. Damn kids. That's why we can't have anything nice. Mm -hmm. But checking out something like that, I never even knew anything like that existed. So that was that was really, really amazing. And now moving back out to the West Coast in Crystal's Jeep, driving underground in an abandoned mind. 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 In a mind. Oh, one more, one more. oh I forgot. This is also the video where I got 100,000 subscribers. So again, thank you to all of you guys. And I hope to continue growing. And I hope that you guys enjoy all of the ridiculous things that Crystal and myself do on a daily basis. That was weird. Oh, there it is! Oh, you're so excited. And then quickly goes into Crystal driving her Jeep into this cave, into this a mine. Is the I'm most sorry. Prosperous mine in California. Gold mine. But like, how crazy is that? Like, I don't understand. It's really cool. It's somewhat well known. It's hard to find. It's super hard to get to. You need to have four by four. But so worth it. Really dope. Yeah, you can drive way down inside of this thing. And then we got to do some mine exploring after that. That was insane. I got to do some rock hounding and like totally geeked out. Basically, this was way down inside when we parked the Jeep underground and we found this mine shaft that went straight up as high as we could see. And it just so happens that we found that exact mine from the top the next week and then explored it from the top down. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this was by far my most favorite cave and probably my favorite adventure of 2021 because we worked so hard to make this happen. It took so much research. It took so much like it took us like two and a half days to get there of of driving the bus and dirt bikes and hiking and freaking climbing down like I felt like a true explorer with this cave. Yeah, this was probably one of my very, very top favorite caves that we did just because of the adventure we had to do to get there. But check it out. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. Like, I don't think I've ever been as secluded as this in my entire life. Only feeling blue. Well, once we got out there, yeah. Oh, and then here's, uh, we, we had to use the drone to find the cave because we couldn't figure out where it was. Found out it was like 40 feet down the edge of this cliff. And uh, we went inside and played rock, paper, scissors, but Crystal has some weird ways that she plays. Oh. One out of three. Weird. One out of one. One out of one. <laughs> Best one out of three. <laughs> Just one match, that's it. I win, we go up, you win, oh, do we, we go down. Do you do the hand thing? I don't do that. Okay, I'll do it. What do you do? I just do it. I love that it's, it's like such a cool cave head. and we're, we're showing, showing rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. I know. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> we spent two days researching and uh, trekking out with everything in our bodies to get to this cave and then we play rock, paper, scissors. No, but the rest of the cave well, was we, really cool. We had explored the cave, but we were like debating which way to go and that's how we solve, you know, disagreements. Moving on very quickly, all the way to the other side of the world, to Ukraine, where I cave cheated on Crystal once again. I was out there filming with TFIL, so Crystal wasn't there. But went down inside of a nuclear bunker before they got there. Um, I went and did it with one of my friends out there who helps translate for me and helps me get all of my tattoos. Here's a quick clip of the nuclear bunker. Ew, so creepy. Oh. Come on, come. You look like something out of an uh, American horror story. I know, yeah. <laughs> you look like a first. Yeah. And then, um... <laughs> He, he ca casually, he pulls out, our, our guide who took us there casually pulls out a one-time use rocket launcher that was still in perfect condition. I mean, there was no rocket in it, of course, but it was just crazy that the stuff was down there and it was amazing to see. 
complete other side of the world. I'm starting to realize how much we really did in 2021. It's ridiculous, but. Is the arrow on which way the rocket's Now it's charged. Right? Oh, and shit. you have to be, uh, push this red button. Are you ready? I think I'm on the wrong <laughs> side of things here. So crazy. I should some but basically a, a bunker full of completely unused items from the Soviet Union, which was unbelievable. Next up on the list, I got to ride dirt bikes out to the biggest wooden train bridge in the world. Crystal, you were with me on this trip, but I think we dropped you off with my sister and you hopped in the ambulance and went with her because you didn't have a dirt bike. Do you see Pepita right now? Do you see Pepita right now? That place I is really just... hope I was hoping you were going to show you eating shit into a cactus. Oh, I forgot that. I did. I, I, I uh, fell off my dirt bike onto a cactus hand first and just had little spikes all through my hand. It was so bad. Terrible. Speaking of good times and bad times, here's a little bit more bad times with me and Crystal. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, but I'm going to start it right now and we're going to see how it goes. Everyone recommends that you have four wheel drive for this and my bus does not. So? Right, we're a little stuck. I, I just slid off the road a little bit. We've gotten stuck a lot on that trip. But you know what? It's no bad, no bad times, just adventures to be had. I mean, we were stuck in the middle of the desert and it was hot as balls. But and no cell service. Fine. No cell service, but... We made it out. Just fine. I thought we got out. Got stuck again. Luckily, this this old guy showed up. He showed up out of nowhere. And my bus weighed around 12,000 pounds, so I was very surprised that his little truck was able to get me out. <laughs> but we got out. We took the dirt bike the rest of the way up the trail to get to the crazy viewpoint and uh, made it where we had to go. Complete switch of scenery down to Miami where we got to whip around a bunch of the three wheel crazy uh, motorcycle things, I guess you could call the them. The three wheel, the yeah. three wheel things. The three wheel things, yeah. I ran up and check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Oh. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the The slingshots. The they do look cool at night. I mean, you guys look kind of douchey, but it still looks super fun. Yeah, I mean, we looked a little douchey, but hey. I but had you're a great in Miami. Time. You have to look douchey in Miami. Miami, you know? Exactly. That's the whole vibe of Miami. Such a weird thing also happened last year. My sister got married to a stranger from TikTok. And legit, I thought it was a joke for a while. And now a year later, they're happily married. And it's crazy. It is so crazy. But Crystal came with me. We drove from LA in my bus all the way to Vegas to join in on the wedding. I'll put something nice on. Boom. I think this is perfect. Sign and... Here they are, this is Gunner. Let's go. This is my sister Danielle and yeah, they're getting married it's right here. Right there. It's actually going down. Oh my Oh, that was Valentine's Day. Yeah, it was. You picked me up from the airport with flowers and a Red Bull. Oh, you didn't even drive? With See, I literally just no, thought you I drove with me. just come from Mexico or somewhere. I, I don't can't, remember. I honestly can't keep track of... I know. We did so much in 2021. Uh, like, we lived a whole life time of adventures and memories in one year. Yeah, I'm incredibly thankful to live the life that I live. It, 
a lot of it I owe to you guys. Thank you guys so much for always watching the videos and always supporting. That's a great segue kind of into the very last clip on my list of 2021 favorite things and it is the ambulance. If you guys have followed along, I think there's eight or nine total videos of my ambulance on YouTube right now from buying it to completely gutting it to building every wow. single part of it. I just have a couple clips on here basically of my final walkthrough tour of the uh, of the entire thing, which I'm literally filming this from right now. Now this is my new home that I'm going to be traveling around in. I'm getting rid of the bus. It's just incredibly thankful for every single part of my life right now because looking back at this i realized how incredibly great i've had it and like sometimes it's easy to forget those things so uh, i'm very very thankful for everything what's up my name is brandon gross and this is my 2011 leave you guys with this last clip right here just a couple shots of uh my walk around of the ambulance showing everybody the inside which is weird because the, ca the camera's sitting like right there like in the video i don't know it's weird it's hurting my brain right now and all the crazy LEDs in the ceiling. But that brings us, oh no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, Crystal. Me, Brandon, um, oh no. you just turned off your video. So now it's Crystal. just me. You ended the call and I'm just sitting here patiently waiting for you to return. But, <laughs> I feel like you missed some memories. Um, Crystal! That's okay. There were so many. I miss all the weird bloopers and all the weird things like we said when we were probably oxygen deprived and hungry and fatigued in caves. So love to see some of that here because sometimes those are the best moments when you just got nothing left to give. And he's still so not here. Oh, there he is. Um, I, I thought it would be cool for dramatic effect if I just grabbed the laptop and shut it. But then I forgot that that would hang up on Crystal, cancel my screen recording, and a bunch of other terrible things. So Are we're back. We're back. Again? Crystal's back. Yes, everything's good. Um, I don't worry. I was just sitting here talking to myself. Oh, I'll put it in the video. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> but, anyways. This is the end of the 2021 highlight video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck all the way to the end, you're a real one. I don't even know what to say, but thank you guys so much for always watching the videos. Look at Pepstar. Oh my God, I love Pepita. But <laughs> all right, I will see you guys next week. Goodbye, Crystal. Goodbye, Pepita. And Bye, goodbye, guys. everybody at home. Love you, love you, love you. Peace, see you next week. I don't know what just happened, but here's to 2022.